From London tonight, the story of a young woman just back from a record-setting trip to the North Pole. Instead of hanging out with her friends in England, she joined her father on a trek across the frozen north for a first-hand look at the problem of disappearing Arctic ice. Now she wants to share what she's learned. NBC's Michelle Kozinski reports. At 15, Camilla Hempelman Adams is interested in makeup, boys, and the effect of global warming on the North Pole. It's an amazing feeling. We're on top of the world. We're flying the flag. This month, she became the youngest woman ever to make that journey on skis to feel the Arctic wind at 40 below and see the expanses of water that weren't there only a few years ago. Guided by her father, David, a renowned explorer. It was 10 years since I went to the North Pole. Uh, and this time, uh, I saw open water for nearly 30 miles from land before it hit the pack ice, which is a really huge distance. I've never, ever seen that before. There is a much bigger goal behind this trip than raw adventure. Camilla's experience will become a documentary. She's teamed with a Hollywood producer and wants to donate this to every school in the UK and US as an environmental lesson to students from a girl after their own hearts. I'm missing my bed at home. Just having a nice warm bed. Like before I went, I didn't really, I guess I didn't really care. And then when I went to that place and saw it for myself, I do really want to help now. It's changed me in quite a big way. She's a wonderful spokesperson and a great voice of her generation. This film is to create dialogue, but not among adults talking, because we are talking among 12-year-olds and 15-year-olds. Camilla had to learn to fire a gun <laughs> in case of polar bear attack. I think I'd miss it. <laughs> I'd probably try and give it a hug instead. She had to ski 80 miles, constantly warding off frostbite. And for the kids, you know we'll ask. The worst part, she says, was going to the loo. Because your bum like freezes. And also, there are so many layers that you have to pull down. And you have to do it so quickly so you don't get frostbite. A tough physical and emotional journey. Well done. I'm so well proud done to you, you too. I'm so proud of you. A world away from the classroom to the edge of a global challenge. Michelle Kosinski, NBC News, London.